Alright, what's up guys? Uh, Bacon1343 here. I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to import a truck into Z Modeler 3 for American Truck Simulator to mod. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your SCS file for the truck, have it on your desktop or somewhere. You're going to open that. Now what you want to do is create a folder on your desktop. It doesn't really matter what you name it. We can just do Freightliner, close enough, whatever. Open that. You're going to want to drag every file, oops, every file from the inside the SCS file into that folder. That way you can use that folder that's on your desktop to mod off of. So you can exit out of the SCS file now. So you got that open like that. Start Zmod. All right, so now we're in Zmod. What you're going to want to do is go to File, Import. Mine's on my desktop. So desktop, Freightliner, Vehicle, Truck, Freightliner, Coronado. Now, when you're modding, you want your base SCS to be your programs, 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then American Truck Simulator. If it's not set up like that, it will not work. Then for your mod folder, you want that to be pointed towards wherever the truck is. So mine is on my desktop, Freightliner. You want to just click on Freightliner and hit OK. So now it says User Admin Desktop Freightliner. That should be all good there. Now for your retain mat names, you want that clicked. Then you can just make sure you're clicked on Truck PMD Import. Create materials. Alright, so now it should look like this. So this is the Freightliner Coronado in this. So let's say we want to, we'll go simple, simp, something simple. We would go into the stretch the frame. So now what I do is put in left view, copy the whole truck, just like this. Go up here, click vertex, click again, and then it brings this up. Copy all this frame, and we'll just, we'll just do something ridiculous so you can really see it works. So let's go like way out here with it. So now, now the frame is stretched, as you can clearly tell. But we don't we don't gotta worry about that right this minute. That's just I'm just showing you what how to import and export. So now what you're gonna want to do is go over here to your truck. Then so if you hover over this with your mouse to keep it there, chassis base twenty nine. So you wanna go over here to chassis base find twenty nine, turn that off, and then thirty one. Now you wanna grab all of these, which are the nodes for your wheels, your rear lights, license plate, your uh, pin, everything. You want to drag that back and then you can turn on your chassis basis back on. Now you got to bring your wheel nodes so they line up in the middle pretty much. Get your light nodes so they're all set. So now everything should be back to where it was prior to us doing it. As you can tell, everything is back to where it should be. It's pretty simple for that type of thing. So now what you want to do is minus this down, go to show all, make sure it's all like that. That's the shadow shit, don't worry about it. Then go to export, Freightliner Coronado. Now what you really got to watch, because I didn't know it first either, it kept coming up old outdated version, where it says version right here, you want to make sure that's on ATS slash ETS2. Because if it's on this, it's not going to work. So you want that on ATS, ETS2. It's a PMD SES software. Make sure this is all back to Freightliner and American Truck Simulator. Export. Truck already exists. Do you want to export? Yes. All right. So that should be good. That truck is done. So we're going to exit out of this. No, I don't like to save that. So now I got this. You open up your folder with the truck in it. Go to Vehicle, Truck. Freightliner, and then you want your PMG. So now open up your mods folder, and then the SCS file in the mods folder. Go to vehicle, truck, Freightliner Coronado, truck PMG. Now take this truck PMG, slide it straight over, compression method, store, OK. And now it should be good to go. Start the game.